Tupac K channel, um, and it features Whitney Cummings talking about she's the most hated comedian. What? She's more hated than Brendan Shaw. Okay, let's see. Let's see this. This is flipping crazy. I love to rag on Whitney sometimes, but I'm kind of backing her up now. Ever since that whole shorts thing went down, I'm kind of in a corner now. Whenever whenever everyone else tries to pile on to somebody, I'm going to start riding for them. So I'm going to be riding for Whitney now. Whitney is my dog. Yes, Whitney Camp here. We are the Whitney Simps. We're the Whitney Cucks. <laughs> oh, I am the head honcho of the Whitney Cuck um, Coalition. <laughs> <laughs> the Whitney Cut Coalition. I'm the fucking head honcho of that, mate. Right? Whitney Cut Coalition. So that's WCC. That's me. Head honcho of the WCC. So let's see what this clip is saying from the fight, the TFK channel. What do you guys think of the TFK channel, by the way? What do you guys think of it? A lot of people on the subreddit hate the channel because allegedly they just take all the content from there and some of the flipping hot takes and just use them as, you know, talking points. What do you guys think? of the TFK channel. I don't mind it. They put some good videos out and shit. They clip up some stuff that I probably would miss and it kind of gives me an idea to kind of check it out. What do you guys think of the flipping channel? Can't follow you on that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Can't follow me that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Funny. Whitney coming six. LOL. We have, we love a good underdog. Exactly. That dude is a, is a hater, says Zach. It's giving scammer. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's giving scammer, says Corey <laughs> um, I think it's very sad. TFK is just opportunistic. Okay, fair enough. I guess I'm the only one that, that, that doesn't mind it then. His jokes are stolen content too, like word for word. The live chat is okay, but the dude that runs it doesn't know anything and is easily hateful. Really hateful. Okay, cool. Fair enough. Well, Agassino's impression of people again, once again, is wrong. <laughs> anyway, let's play the clip. <laughs> Whitney Cummings is hated just as much as Ben and Shorb. Here we go. Whitney Cummings believes that people hate on her because she's a female comedian. I hate to break the news, but Whitney, people don't hate you because you're a female or a comedian. It's because you're not funny and you're actually a terrible person. But I heard it both ways, B. Let's go ahead and stomach her explanation on why she believes people online hate her or people in general hate her because she thinks it's all because she's a i think most comedians to be fair i don't think most comedians can accept anyway if some people don't like them because they don't think they're funny i think most comedians just have this weird innate feeling that everybody must think they're funny and if you don't think they're funny then you're an idiot they don't get jokes you're simpleton you're you're a, you're a civilian as burt crusher would say you just don't understand humor you don't laugh a lot in your life i don't think many comedians out there are okay with the idea that some people just don't like them or don't find them funny. I don't think so. I think that's where the major issue starts with most of them people. So when you criticize their stand up or when you criticize their specials, they're like, huh? They don't understand it. They don't get it. The female comedian. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. Bobby Lee, roll the goddamn footage. Do it. And you know, there's an obsession with female comedians right now. There's always kind of been one. Um, you know, uh, we always joke we're the most hated species of human on the planet because, you know, it's like, you know, we have. We always joke. Where are all these women? Are these women in the room right now, Whitney? Point them out. Is a, is a woman, is another woman sitting next to you right now? What's she saying? What's her name, Whitney? <laughs> this is a bit unhinged we all say this okay have the audacity to go on stage and the courage to go on stage and say i'm a piece of shit you know it's like i'm a piece of shit in the center of the universe and we charge people money to hear us talk for two hours with no chance of having sex with us at the end but you know fans like, only you know i entered into this with a very clear idea of knowing like i'm going to be hated by a lot of people for reasons that have nothing to do with me right. and i'm gonna be what don't people hate you because of you that's a strange cope isn't it People hate me because of things that I, because of things that have nothing to do with me. Isn't that an oxymoron of sorts? Like what? <laughs> if people hate you, like these guys have put out, these guys have put out enough content online for most people to form a reasonable judgment on them as people, or to just say, "Hey, you're not for me. You're for me." So why do why does she think it's impossible not to like her for her and it's for other things? That's a lot of like, that's like some subtle gaslighting shit, isn't it? Be loved by a lot of people for- you mean for doing this part? No, just being a female comedian in general. Oh, 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 it's a lot of right, like, because right, right. I am imposter. So what she's trying to say, she, she's trying to say female comedians are way more attacked than black people. I love, I wanted to say that. I wanted to fucking really, you know, have some fucking courage and say, you know what? Women are the most oppressed people in the world. <laughs> Even more so the black and brown people around the world honestly we have the hardest job us one percenters 
these female professional comedians who live in LA, who live in these coastal cities, coastal states, we are more oppressed than anybody. Forget George Floyd. It's about Whitney Cummings, bitch. <laughs> get, your, get your knee off my neck. I want to be on SNL. I want her to say that. Like, come out and say it with your chest. Because that's what you mean. Like, say it. Be brave. But these guys, again, they're all fucking pussies. They don't want to lose their fucking, you know, Rolls Royce trucks. They don't want to lose their mansions. So they skirt around it and say all this nonsense. But say what you really mean. Come on, Whitney. Say what you really mean. Women, women are more important than anyone. Say it. For syndrome too. If you guys are like, how dare you think you? Do? I, I'm the same way. I'm like, I don't like. How dare I? We're you know we. Right. I vacillate from you know uh, having just because you have confidence, it doesn't mean you have. Whitney, like I said earlier, you're just not funny. I mean, holy shit, it's not that hard to understand here, girl. All these hacks are only famous because Joe Rogan pushed them all so hard using his podcast. They hate me because I'm awesome and courageous. Shut the fuck up. And the truth is, Whitney, you're not funny in any facet. You spend every waking moment trying to draw attention to yourself. You're basically on par with Bert Kreischer with your constant and incessant need to be the center of attention. Hell. I wonder if a lot of their, because I, again, I don't mind Whitney. I think she's going to be a little bit insufferable and she's a little bit manic and shit, but I don't mind her. I think she's a necessary voice in stand-up, especially within that LA scene. She's necessary. And the fact that she went out of her way to cut complete communication with brendan sorry with uh, brian callan and crystalia and by proxy brendan after what they got accused of you have to give her some ratings even though she you know was complicit in some of that shit by being okay with the story and laughing along when she retold the story of brian you know pulling out his penis when they're in the car together and shit like i still think that you should give her credit enough to semi standing up for it in a hollywood way right because that's the most she could do delete their pictures delete their episodes right she was brave hashtag brave i wonder if all this kind of like um imposter syndrome and this sort of like manic sort of rants that she goes on is a consequence of just feeling like you don't maybe maybe see yeah, it's, it's kind of an extension of imposter syndrome she maybe feels like how am i making so much money and i'm clearly so terrible at this shit anybody can do what i'm doing right now i'm not even that passionate about it and i'm making you know money hand over fist it's really been easy for me life's on easy street maybe there's a sense of guilt and that's what is that's what she's doing she's trying to kind of cope with the idea that she's kind of lived life on easy street for the majority of her life and will continue to do so as long as she's healthy maybe that's part of it maybe maybe because i don't actually get it like she's clearly from a somewhat well-to-do affluent family she got famous she figured out the stand-up comedy stuff if you're enjoying it just double down and keep it moving why do you care about all this other nonsense day to day really you have your fans that watch your pod that follow you around that buy your tickets that like your merch that will care about you to separate i don't know i just find it interesting why she cares personally if only you could get a plastic surgeon to fix your act. Whitney's really self-obsessed and completely delusional to the fact that most people don't think she's funny or interesting. And it has nothing to do with- I don't even think that. I, I just think Whitney can't comprehend that. Most people just don't care. It's never that deep. Most people just don't care. They don't have enough bandwidth to kind of, you know, absorb or be okay with all your trauma dumping and shit. Like, they just don't care enough. They've got their own issues day to day. They come for you for shits and giggles. If you don't provide shits and giggles, they move on. With her being a female or having tits or a face pumped full of fillers and Botox. Girl, you're just annoying. You're uh, this guy is giving me a little bit of comedy enforcement vibe when it comes to the dunking on the women. A little bit of that sort of vibe, right? That other guy, he hates Kalila. This guy clearly hates Whitney. No Whitney slander on my clock, all right? I am the head honcho of the Whitney Cuck Coalition. The WCC, all right? T Fat K, mind your flipping mouth when you're speaking about Queen Whitney, all right? Mind your fucking mouth. Unoriginal, and you have nothing to say worth listening to. Good God, Joe Rogan really did some serious damage to comedy by promoting all these fucking weirdos. You know, this video clip of Cummings reminds me of when Brendan Schaub says people hate him because of the way he looks. You know, when he talks about how he looks like the guy who bullied you in high school, or because he's some tall, successful, athletic, good-looking jock, that it triggers everyone else. Same shit, different day. The absolute best representation of how divorced from reality this brand of 
female comedian can be is when Rich Voss's wife was under the delusion that she would destroy by getting disguised as a man and ate absolute shit on stage. I mean, that was brutal. People actually felt bad for her. The material she did was just as bad and it was also super creepy. Not only did she look weird, but her attempt at a man's voice was terrible. And of course the crowd knew something was off. Again, same shit, different day. Um, you know, uh, uh, we always joke we're the most hated species of human on the planet because, you know, it's like, you know, we have the audacity to go on stage and the courage to go on stage and say, I'm a piece of shit. You know, it's like I'm a piece of shit in the center of the universe and we charge people money to hear us talk for two hours. Hey, leave Whitney alone. No Whitney Sander will be accepted. Um, I don't blame her for being a bit cuckoo. She's from La La Land. She lives and breathes it. She's in the LA. She's in probably two of the most toxic industries known to man. Hollywood and LA stand-up comedy scene. It's no surprise her brain is broken. It's no surprise she's all frazzled and ranting and raving about stuff that really doesn't matter in a grand scheme of things. It's no surprise. Imagine having to make a living working within Hollywood and flipping the LA stand-up scene and you're from there. Like, imagine. It just must be crazy. Of course, it's by choice. I understand it. Yes, you're right, Crash, but still, that's probably why she's frazzled. But again, I'm flipping, simping, I'm cucking, I'm supporting Whitney. Whitney, I got your back. I got your back.